What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Nerd Off, Flight K, Clutch K, 247, and we are here giving you guys another off meta defense, and it's Nickel Triple. Not gonna lie to y'all, man. I was running a little bit of Nickel Triple before the Nickel over back in the day. When Nickel Triple first got introduced, man, I was running Nickel Triple like it was crazy. But I'm glad that Nickel Triple is back here in the game. I'll show you guys a nice little blitz on either side. Either way, it's gonna come in type defense. Um, you can even do coverage out of it. Yeah, I know you probably have a scheme out of this already. The one thing that you can't do out of this is run defense. So this is nice pass defense. But if you can find a way to get the defense in there, like put some D tackles, certain plots, certain spots to do inside stuff, no outsiders. You guys can make the defense a lot better. But once again, uh, this one right here, you get to put the uh, linebacker. I mean, the linebacker into safety spots. Here on the outside is the edge D tackles and ends once again. Your slot corner and things of that nature. And you can go ahead and rock out just like that. But, um, yeah, we're going to move Bland up here. So the Bliss that we're going to come out in is Nickel Bliss 3. And make sure you have your, um, what you call it, your auto flip off and your base aligning. Do your audibles and things of that nature. So what you're, you're going to do is literally just show Blitz. You're going to show Blitz and if you want to. Come bring him down right here, or you can keep him up top. But all we are doing here is blitzing the D-line twice, uh, QB containing, and then down on the right stick after for the uh, linebacker. So once again, triangle left, which is to show blitz. Left on the D-pad, down on the right stick, do that twice, QB contain, which is double tap R1. Right on the D-pad, and then blitz all linebackers once again. And basically, this is just an overload blitz to the left side of the field. And you got a looper, and you got an edge rush over here on this left side. All you got to do with your user right here is hold him and make sure he has the attention of the offensive line. Hold him just right here, and you guys can see the pressure come in from the outside and in the gap. And this defense is basically, oh, I'm sending the whole hounds at you. We're going to have to sit here and take care of somebody. And we got two people coming in every single time. Um, we're actually going to do this once again. Bring him down just like this. Boom. And you can still match the defense just like this. Just so you can help out in any state. Will the corner back up and do a deep zone a little, uh, what you call it, a little um, slower? He might. But as we go ahead and look at it on this play, he still backs up fast enough so you can go ahead and make a play, which is very, very good. So even if a, he's like to the line like that, he's still going to get back there as fast as he needs to. He just starts running, gets back to his spot, does his thing. Now, um, you guys can see with the blitz here, with the QB contain right there, if he rolls out to the right, he's literally getting right there where he needs to. Somebody's getting picked up in that aspect. You go out to the running back, things like that. And... It's just really, really good D right here. So bring him back right here. He's supposed to be right here on the line. If you want to, you can go ahead and do this kind of a look. And then that's basically it with the defense. Make sure you get down to the line, hold on to the left trigger, um, and basically hold him just like this. You guys can see. And now the pressure is getting towards the back just like that. And whatever you're doing here with the defense in the back is completely up to you. Doesn't matter at all. But as long as you make the right read uh, on offense and know what they're doing, put the right defense out there, you guys know that you're going to sit here and make an even better defense from what it already is. See how I'm using this right here? Safety has nowhere to go. And if you kind of do it just like this, I'm not going to lie, sometimes you can sit here and send that, uh, what you call it, you can just not send this safety on the outside. We're going to test it right here. So if I'm holding this man right here, maybe we can go ahead and get a loop just without it. As you guys can see, yep, right there, you can do this without the loop. But see how everybody drops back so far? Um, sometimes it wouldn't work as well. So if you hold it just like this, as you see here, you could have a loop here on the inside all by itself and then have that extra person come out over there. So really, if we switch that up once again and do this, bring him down just like this. You can have a defense just like this now. So now you have a loop coming in on that left side with only four, only five people blitzing. And you can get free instead of the two people coming in. Just, just hold it just like this. You see, he comes back around and he gets in there with only one person. Now, we're going to go ahead and show you guys the blitz versus 
a blocked running back. And uh, it's the same thing, Nickel Bliss 3. We're going to come out and bench pivot. And it's basically the same setup. Come on over here to this side. This time we're putting that safety over here in the hook curl. Boom, do it just like this. And it's basically the same setup as, as we've done it before. Um, it's literally just a blitz over here to the left side. Giving pressure all to that running back. And as you guys can see, that even if they sit here and um pick that up, it's still one-on-one -on -one with everybody. So if you have like a double or nothing, an edge start of things of that nature, then you can make sure that um, it goes the way that it needs to go. Here, I kind of messed up to where my user is supposed to go because 69 was not supposed to take care of him. It was supposed to literally stay just like this so he can loop around. So I fiddled with my user a little bit too much. But it is consistent to the point where all I have to do is stay right here and it works out for you. We're going to mix up the defense just like this just because we know the play is and we just don't want to get that off. So you stay right here, loop around just like that, and once again, the loop comes in just like that. QB contain, roll out to the right, is not even there. So, yeah, it is one of those defenses where if he comes in free or if the running back doesn't hold on to his block long enough, you have out my way on that corner, he could come in right there. Or if you really want to, boom, bring it in just like this. If you want to, you can blitz that safety over here on the right. Now the X. So now it can turn into this. And you can bring him out just like that. That kind of blitz kind of helps out as well. Because like I said, all you got to do is occupy him right here. And you guys can see he had the loop coming in on the left side and on the right. And you have to choose which one that you want to do. Um, here with that corner on the right side, you see him come all the way out there. The running back instantly thought, yeah, I'm going to need to go and get that man right there. It's just so that loop king comes in. But after you guys seen all that. Now, let's just go ahead and send all the edges out there. Send all the edges, hover just right here. And then your guys are guaranteed to sit here and get a sack in in a few seconds. Boom. And you guys can see they're, they're just coming in completely free. They're coming in completely free. Um, let's go ahead and look at that one more time where he's coming over there to the right side. The contain doesn't even mess with him out there. He already knew that that coverage was coming out there. 69 was like trying to go and bring it over to somebody else so they can get rid of him. Doesn't really need to get some covers for a sack. And then that's just GG's. Now I know that's only three people blocking in the back, but like I said, you can turn a conservative defense and make it something just like that. Or you can literally make it into a, um, defense just like this if you really want to i think you can bluff blitz this just like we did before and kind of make this into a blitz where they think it's all coming in but then it's not so boom coming in on the outside boom just like that it goes right back into his zone it still comes in on that right side um let me see if that bluff blitz really did anything on that side it kind of did it kind of did, and then it kind of didn't. So then it looks like it was kind of a blitz, and it kind of went back to like the middle of the field to kind of help out. Um, the QB container was right there. Cornerback came all the way out there. Yeah, it really was a bag. So let's go ahead and check it one more time and see if it really was a, um, a difference when it came to that. Boom. So now that's the defense it comes out in. Um, and see if it really was a bluff blitz that really just made that into like actual great defense or it was really just him coming on the outside. Yeah, it was just him coming in on the outside, him coming into that outside completely free. Sometimes you might not even need to blitz them over there on that side. So redo this and then just bring him down, bring him down just right here like we did before. Boom, just like that. And you can keep that line, the, uh, what you call it? You can keep him blitzing just like this if you want to as well. Boom, hold it just like this. And you guys can see the pressure literally condenses it to enough to where the running back even stays on to that left side now. So where that little loop doesn't even come in. Boom, does it once again. Boom, keep it just like that. And now the defense should come in completely free. Boom. You can literally throw it right there and make a defensive play. So yeah, it's it's a sometimes it's a little bit of an aggressive defense. Got to put the right uh, 
cage and on the right side like either you have them inside of a hook curl like play match play man do certain things just like that you guys can see that the running back chooses that left side the right goes in every single time if you uh have this person like this you have a loop and you have him coming in just make sure you're keeping that right there and the only open person that you have right there that could go for a lot more yards is that um what you call it is that tight end coming in on the outside but if they see the pressure and trying to get like a little flustered then yeah, you know you already have um the dub right here. Um you could do defense just like this. You know, kinda help Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even I didn't even tell them to like the ball. I don't know what it is with that, but unless it, it, it does that sometimes. So boom, we go ahead and bring that in. Boom. You can keep it just like this to a cover three look. And then back him up just a little bit, just so they won't do anything that they don't that they know that they shouldn't be doing. Um, just going to hike the ball, keep it right there, and go towards whatever you need to. Defense got that in the back, very very tidied up. Um, we can even do something like this. So that means yeah, you know they're blitzing everything on that left side is good. So as soon as they hike. You can go right back up to here, and now everything else seems to be all backed up. When you send that pressure, you got to send uh, the zones where you know that you ain't going to be. So if you know that they're going to go ahead and roll out to that right side, put more of the zones and everything on that right side. Do, do whatever you can to keep the opponent on top of their toes, and do not let him sit in that pocket. Do whatever. You guys see this blitz. You see it comes in. You see it does what it needs to do. Go ahead and make a play. But... That's it for this play right here. Nickel Triple might be back with this blitz here. If you guys like it, make sure you guys go and leave a like. Comment down below some other stuff you guys like to see. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, peace out.